I try not to uh, interview people per se. Uh, I, as much as possible, try not to ask very many questions and just try and create circumstances where people talk about what's important to them. My name is John Wynn. I'm a professor of sound art at London College of Communication. My research and practice falls into two broad categories, I'd say. One, uh, a term I'm not particularly fond of, is socially engaged practice, and that includes projects on endangered languages, for example, uh, projects with transplant patients, uh, projects with women with advanced breast cancer. I'm currently involved in a project called HIPNOS, which stands for Hospital Project on noise, sound and sleep. Noise is a, is a contributing factor to poor sleep in hospitals and poor sleep is a contributing factor to people taking longer to recover. We have done uh, a workshop uh, in a mock hospital ward uh, where we had uh, a variety of people from um, social sciences, people from medicines, and we kind of tested the waters about possible um, interventions that might help people sleep or uh, be less disturbed by sound. We're uh, hoping to kind of uh, now take this study onto a live ward at um, St. Thomas's Hospital. We've actually got permission to start working on an uh, older person's ward there. And I think the, the interesting thing about uh, the, the group of people that we've put together, everyone has their own kind of uh, reason for being involved and their, their own things that they will kind of take away from it and, and explore within their own discipline, but each of those disciplines kind of is integral to the others in a sense. Uh, one project I'm currently working on is a collaboration with Sarah Davidman here at LCC. A few years ago we went to Botswana and worked with uh, young members of the LGBTQ plus community. Things have changed actually there since we worked there in that there's been a change in the law uh, regarding um, same-sex relationships. However, we are very aware that that's not going to change social attitudes overnight, so we're even keener now to show our work uh, down there. I try not to uh, interview people per se. Uh, I, as much as possible, try not to ask very many questions and just try and create circumstances where people talk about what's important to them. Um, and in all of the projects I've done, the, the stories that come out are varied and really interesting. So I have done uh, a couple of half-hour pieces for Radio 3. Um, these have been described as uh, composed documentaries. So they have documentary elements, but they also then become kind of abstracted in a almost musical way. With uh, some of the projects with transplant patients and uh, with endangered languages, I've used um, images that are actually speakers, so the sound is coming from the images. Uh, I've done installations with 24 of those across three rooms in a, in, in a gallery. So you're kind of led around the space by uh, sound, but you're also looking at images. So a lot of my work has a, has a visual element, um, but is uh, initially led by sound. I don't often work for theatre, but I was asked to do a theatre play once. I was very upfront with them at the start and said I don't really go to theatre, it's not kind of my medium, and they said, well, that's why they're interested in me as a sound artist, um, doing something in the theatre um, that wasn't necessarily coming from a more traditional theatre sound design uh, point of view. And it was a challenge for me because they wanted, the director wanted sound pretty much all the way through the play, uh, but there was also a lot of talking in the play. <laughs> and so I, I I came up with the solution of using just very low and very high frequencies. I was virtually given the, the time and in the space where the play was going to happen to almost create a site-specific installation in which the play happened. But it led to some installation projects for me as well, using just very high and very low frequencies, um, uh, exploring architectural acoustics, exploring the, the sort of boundaries of inside and outside of gallery space. Yeah, I think uh, at LCC there's a very rich and diverse uh, research culture and the important thing uh, that I see is that that filters down to uh, undergraduate level through master's level to PhD student. Recently I've started looking into setting up a, a research hub for arts, design and health and I think uh, because that relates quite 
strongly to the, the general um, research uh, aims of the university. I think bringing people together uh, across the university would be a really uh, important thing to do.